a tacky peeps since the weather is doing this outside. And it's well below zero and I'm standing out here getting content. How about let's go inside and see what wonderful treasures I've found before I get blown away. See you later. Woo, I about got blown away out there. So how do you like that? Me trying to come up with a new little intro and trying to be all fancy. And I looked at the little um, video of that and that was horrible vlogging footage. But you know what? You got it because it's tacky. So anyways, welcome to my channel. Tacky is me. My name is Daniel and I am a, a part-time reseller on eBay. So today, since it's so nasty outside and yucky and blowy and snowy and below zero-y, uh, we'll just go over a small little haul that I did a few days ago before all this stuff came flying in. And some of this stuff, I probably won't be able to remember what I paid for it, so we'll just go with it. It's going to be small anyways. So, uh, start off with brooch of the day. Here we go. Is just a tacky little knot. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so I am going to start off. I went to um, two local antique stores and then the Habitat for Humanities Restore. I went to Goodwill, but I found nothing at Goodwill, so there's nothing here from Goodwill. Um, we'll start off with the Restore. It's where I found the most stuff. So we will start off with these, and I did pay 50 cents a piece for these. And there they are, wonderful candlestick holders, clear, and I don't know, I'll have to do research on this, I don't know if this is candle wick, or if this is the Anchor Hawking Bubble or even some other company. I don't know, I'll have to look that up. I just thought they were really nice and um, I like clear glass. So I thought I'd get them if they don't sell. Well, we'll just keep them for ourselves again. And then I got this for 50 cents. Just uh, another cute little swan, ceramic swan planter. There's that, there's no marking on the bottom. So I don't know who made it. Just thought it was cute. And then $2, I paid up $2 for this. But look at that rabbit. Is he not the cutest thing ever? And there's no markings on the bottom. But look at that face. I don't know if at one point in time, he's holding his little feet and rolling around. Ugh just adorable he's just adorable and then these both were 50 cents a piece hold on i gotta get my old man glasses it's that time because one of these does have a mark on the bottom or a sticker i should say and it's dark in here Okay, so the gray one's made in Taiwan, so maybe both of them. I don't know. It feels heavier than the other, but they're just, oh, come on. Quit being so bright. There we go. This one's the one that has the Made in Japan sticker, and he was 50 cents, as you can see. There's the bottom. Cuteness with the little flowers. And then this little guy here. And he was 50 cents, no mark on the bottom. So I don't know what company made him. And then I guess I could take my own my glasses off. These, I don't know if these are Japan pieces. They don't say it. Nothing's marked on them. They could be anything. But lucky are those not adorable. I love these little deers. Like I said, no markings, and they were 25 cents a piece. So there's a set of three of those. Let's get them up close. 
See the pretty little faces. Oh, so cute. Little fawns, little fawns. So there's that. And there's that one. And that one. Okay, and then I did pay up for this and I don't know anything about it. I don't know if I overpaid, but even I'll keep it for myself as always if it is overpaid. This says France and a bunch of French words. But anyways, it's this really pretty vase. I don't know if that's enamel. I mean, it's ceramic, but I don't know if that painting is enamel. It is just really pretty. And then it has all that fancy stuff on the bottom there. If any of you know French, let me know what that says down below and who made it. I'll have to look into that. Okay, and then, so that was it for the restore. And then I moved on to another little um, local antique store. And I got this bulldog or French bulldog or American bulldog or something. But I just thought it was really neat. And it does say, I think that my upside down, this is made in Taiwan. I think that says Taiwan. Yes, made in Taiwan, but he is just awesome. So I like him. And then I got these two packs of vintage cards. And one is a get well pack. And the other one, I believe, is birthday pack. So I thought those were cute. Um, we'll look at just a couple of them. Well... I can get the tape off and be able to open them. Come on. Okay. I didn't even look at them. I just seen the fronts and I thought they were really cute. So I bought them and I may have paid up for these two. I think they, oh, I don't know. I just lost something to one of them. Anyways. We'll just look at the get wells. So that one says, you sick? I hope you really get better very soon. Oh, look at that. Love the graphics. I don't know what it says. I didn't read it. It just says, I hope you get better soon. So there's that one. And Get well message just for you when the postman rings your doorbell and brings this wish for me. Hope you'll say, why, who is this for? I'm as fine as can be. Wishing you the best of health. So there's the graphic on that. And there's the inside awesomeness. I'm going to figure out what all those went to. There's some little, like, glasses and stuff like that that I don't know went to, what it went to. Here's a cherry get well note. With glitter. Or, you know, shiny, shiny stuff. But beautiful little bird. And a little font in there. And evidently, these were all in scrapbooks because they took them out. You can tell on the back, all of them has that on it. So they must have been shoved into a And this is a speedy train. That's kind of cute. You open it up, and then there's the end of it. So that is cute. That reminds me of Aaron, Jeffrey's man from um, Real Nifty Vintage. 
He likes trying new ones, but whatevs. And then there's that one. It's cute. So that's just a few of those. Those are really cute. So that's all I got at that antique store. And then I went to the next one and I picked this up. A little squeaky cupid doll. The only thing is, is her little squeaker doesn't work. That is still adorable. Look at her. Oh my goodness. So cute. And then I picked up a Tupperware creamer and sugar. Because I know those are popular right now. And this is in an aqua color. I don't know if it's showing up aqua on my phone or not. It looks more blue from what I'm looking at. But it is an aqua color. Um, actually, the lid may be different. So it may be a marriage of two different colors or the bottom is just faded. Don't know, but I still liked it. Picked it up. And then look at this. Is that not wonderful? A mama and her fawn. And this is pretty big. And there was a sticker on it, but it's missing. So I don't know who made it. But isn't that wonderful for all you dear lovers? We'll be putting that up on my eBay as soon as I can, which will be under my seller name, which is tacky un or tack underscore 55. Um, so, yeah, you can check out my eBay listings and find out whenever I um, post stuff on there. And I do... Whenever I post stuff on eBay, then I show it over on my Instagram. And my Instagram, you can go follow me there at Tacky Is Me. And I would appreciate it if you would subscribe, hit the like button, and leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. So that's going to be it for this video. It's a little short one, but. At least it's something fun to do during this horrible, blizzardy, wintry, weathery thing that most of us have going on right now. So I'll let you go and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.